tried out, made the team, even got a scholarship. Boy, my dad was glad about that. <laughs> Start training, start playing for him. A couple of weeks go by, coach sits me down. He goes, Ruben, obviously you had an incredible tryout because you're really not that good. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the new rule around here is you get to play when we're up by two goals because you're a threat to our own team. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, he's a real motivator there. <laughs> but you know what? It didn't even hurt. It didn't even hurt because I was still so happy. I was still so giddy from just being part of the team. I was just happy to be there. And from that day on, my mission in life was don't get cut. And so I, I started, I'd be the first one to work out. I work out harder than anybody. I was the last one to leave. I was kind of like Rudy. Any of you guys see that movie, Rudy? That guy wants to play Notre Dame football, but he's, he's short and not too athletic either. He's not, he's not a football player, right? I, I kind of became like him. And, uh, but, it, but it was nuts. I mean, you're, you're in the middle of a game. I played three years for him. I played an average of five, five minutes a game. That was it. That was it. I was on a traveling squad, but I didn't get to play. I mean, I'm sitting there watching the game, and we score a goal, and I get a little excited. We score another goal, I get to play. Right? The other team scores a goal, I get to sit down. And that's what it <laughs> My last year, in the middle of a championship game, this guy walks up with a big fat camera in the middle of the game, okay? He goes, hey, as long as you're out here all the time, why don't you shoot the, the yearbook soccer pictures? <laughs> <laughs> and I did. <laughs> and they're good, too. <laughs> But that's where I was when I was 21 years old, okay? And around that time, the Olympics roll around again. The Sarajevo Winter Olympic Games. And I'm watching them on TV. And I saw this little guy, he's about five foot one. He must have weighed 115 pounds soaking wet. And this little 18 year old kid wins a gold medal in figure skating, Scott Hamilton, right? When I saw little Scott Hamilton win that gold medal, he gave me hope. I said to myself, well, that little guy can do it. I can do it too. I'll be in the next Olympics no matter what. It's a done deal. I just got to find a sport. <laughs> now, is that realistic, guys? I'm here to tell you that if you believe in your heart that it's possible, and your attitude is, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make that dream come true, then it is realistic. 